Make sure you don't cheap out on the gifts at my upcoming wedding, okay? <laughs> if there isn't at least double the amount I get from the rest of my family coming from you, then I'm going to get upset. I might even make you leave my dad at that point. Um, Jordan? I'm not sure you should be saying things like that to me right now, especially at a time like this. I understand that you might be excited about the upcoming wedding and all that, but that does not give you the right to say such things like that to me or anyone. What? I don't have a mom, though, so how am I supposed to know what to be saying? How about you tell me what I should be saying, since I've had to live my whole life with only a dad in my life? I never had a kind mom to help me through anything like this. I've been around you all your life, though, right? And I had been trying to act as your mother the whole time, teaching you everything I thought you'd need to know. So don't use that whole, I have no mom trick on me, because I have been here for 25 years helping raise you with your father. What are you talking about? You think I've ever thought of you as my mom? Could you stop acting like you actually did anything that makes you my mom just because you were around me for a little while? <laughs> I'm not trying to act like I'm your mother, though. To be honest, I've just been around your father this whole time and thought it would be kind of myself to be helpful with you. And as far as I can remember, you always did view me as your mother figure. But I suppose that was all a lie then? Which is fine, I guess, but you still need to respect me for what I've done for you. Stop acting like I should still be thinking of you that way, though. <laughs> and respect you? No thanks. All of you know right now that I never agreed with you getting married to my dad. <laughs> like I'd ever want some useless grandma around in my life. I wonder what my dad saw in your old butt that made him think marriage was a good idea. <laughs> For some reason, it's starting to seem like you're acting even worse than before. Did I do anything to you recently? I know that for the past couple of years you've grown a little distant from me, but now it's almost like you're actually trying to make me feel bad. That's because I really want for you and my dad to get a divorce. So why should I continue being nice to you when I'm trying to get you out of my life? And as for the actual wedding, I really hope you don't actually come to it. You'd ruin the vibe for everyone else there who shows up wanting to celebrate me. All of my guests would have to learn my dad got remarried to some shut-in grandma. I understand that I work from home most of the time, but I wouldn't start throwing the word shut-in around. It doesn't make me feel good when you call me that. Well, listen, I've been saying that about you this whole time. And to be real with you, when have I ever seen you actually working a job? Since you're always sitting in that room all day, I'm sure you're just playing video games or watching YouTube, right? Just because you're not seeing me work does not mean I'm not doing other things in here. What I'm doing is just not something I need to show you, and if I leave the door open for everyone all the time, I won't be able to focus. That's probably why you've never seen what I'm actually doing in that room. But I promise you that what I'm doing is related to my job. That's what you say. <laughs> Thank God Dad is such a nice man, right? If he was any more strict with you, then you'd never be able to continue playing those video games all day long, right? How about now that I'm out of the house, though, you go ahead and divorce him? You really want your father to be alone that badly? Do you think that I'm taking him away from you or something? If I say that I'm feeling that way, will you divorce him for me? <laughs> I'll put some thought into it, yes. By the way, I'm already married at this point and will be going to my husband here soon. And you know that, right? So, since things between you and I will really be ending here, I'll let you in on one final secret. <laughs> my dad, he's in love with a younger woman than you right now. <laughs> She's a model, so recently the two of them have been going on quite a few dates with one another. What? What are you talking about? Oh, so you really didn't know about any of this, huh? <laughs> I kind of figured that someone like you would be clueless. I know there are plenty of older women who begin to stop thinking about the world around them as they've gotten older. But in your case, you must have completely forgotten that there are in fact better looking women than you out there. <laughs> would you please tell me what's going on here? Is your father really going out with another woman now? 
I'm honestly not too sure, so you might want to go and talk with him about it. <laughs> but from my point of view, I'm kind of thinking he does have another younger woman around. Just from the way he's leaving the house in a hurry sometimes, I can tell that she's got him all tied up in herself. <laughs> Dang, Julian, there really is nothing left you can do now. <laughs> hmm, I see. Well, thank you for giving me a heads up. If this is really true, then I guess we're closer to a divorce than even I had thought. Ah, uh, but before you do get that divorce, make sure you allow me to have my wedding first. <laughs> Wouldn't want to get any bad luck from you or my dad, right? Doesn't seem right to me to have my wedding after you both have cut ties. It seems that everything must be about you, then. All right, then. If that's what you want from me, then I'll listen. As for right now, I'm going to start getting to the bottom of things with your father. By the way, I wanted to talk about this month's allowance. You think you can up it a little for me? I have Jordan's wedding and all coming up. With what little you're giving me now, it might make things a bit tough for me come time that I have to help her with the wedding costs and her gifts from me. What are you talking about, Richard? Month after month, you've already been asking me to raise your allowance for whatever reasons you have. Are there really that many things going on in your life that require you to get more money from me? There's nothing crazy going on here. I just happen to have a lot of work on my plate and that leads to me getting stressed out. And so I want to use that money you give me to get some fresh air and relax a little bit. You're making all kinds of money with your job, so it's not like you have anything to worry about. So how about you just give me a bit more each month in my allowance? That way things can be a little bit more fair here. If that's how you're feeling, then how about you leave that dead-end job you have and work for a company that actually values you and pays you more? I don't want you thinking you can just take my money and play around with it all the time. But in some work yourself, and I promise you you'll start making more money and won't have to keep asking your wife for her money. Hey, 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 don't say things like that. We have both been working for as far as I can remember, at least while we've been married, right? Yet you're not going to let me have anything that you've earned? I thought that by being married we were supposed to share what we made. I've been letting you have quite a bit of it already. The thing is, you haven't been giving me anything in return. You take all that money you make and spend it all on yourself. Everything that has to do with this house, I'm being left to pay for. And for as long as I can remember, I haven't gotten any money from you to help me out, or even as a gift to show your love and appreciation for me. But look, Jordan is going to be leaving us soon. So you won't have to pay for her anymore, right? That means you and I can have a little more fun with our lives, right? So you shouldn't be upset about giving me a bit more to spend every month. And as for that appreciation you're seeking from me, I give it to you every day by staying with you. A little more fun with our lives? For some reason that makes it sound like you don't want to have fun with me, but rather have fun by yourself outside of the house. Hasn't that been where all my money's gone to already that I've given you? I'm sorry, but I'm not okay with that. Hey, 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 what's gotten into you? You've never spoken to me like that before. What happened to you today to, that's made you so stingy? I'm starting to realize that your spending is a little suspicious. Up until now, I haven't really thought anything of it. But then I was being asked for money and gifts from your daughter and she told me she wanted more from me than anyone else in the family. Ah, uh, that sounds like her. She must have gotten that kind of greedy mindset from her mother. That woman went and took all the money she could get and ran from me. Jordan must have seen her mother doing all of that and ended up loving money and things just as much as her. And you seem to be the same way as those two. What was that? 
Whatever. Jordan, what is this all about? Where is my seat supposed to be today? Did you forget to tell the wedding staff to set my name out? Huh? <laughs> I didn't forget anything today. I just made sure that there was no place for you today at this wedding. <laughs> what? There is no seat here today for some fake wannabe mom like you. <laughs> this wedding is only for my real family, so a stranger like you needs to get out of here. <laughs> Just leave whatever gifts and money you bought for me up front and go home. You made sure to bring me a lot of things today, right? Fake wannabe mom. Up until this very day, I have done so much to support you. Yet after all of that, this is how I'm treated? You just supported me out of your own desires. I never asked for a single thing from you, right? If you're going to throw a fit about how unfairly you think you've been treated, how about you go outside and do it? We wouldn't want the security in this building to have to come and carry you out for causing a ruckus, right? But if that's what you really want, then go ahead and start crying. I see. So this is really how things are going to be? That's right. And right now, it seems your father doesn't care about what's happened to me and is laughing while I stand here patiently waiting. He's told me already that you're the bride today and that if you don't want me here, there is nothing else I can do. He seems to think you want him to be alone today and that makes him laugh out of happiness. Awesome! That is so cool. Why did I ever decide to stick my neck out for you guys all this time? Don't worry, because you don't have to do anything for us anymore. Now shut up and get out of here. Or else I seriously will have the security team come and carry you out. You're not supposed to be here today, so get. All right, I'm going then. And if you regret what you've done later on, I'm not going to listen to you whine. You think anything's going to change today by you not being here? Stop thinking that you're all that important to any of us. I'm cutting ties to you today. Goodbye forever, you useless grandma. <laughs> Understood. I'll make sure to have these divorce papers handed in today. That will be my wedding gift to you. Seriously? Thank you. No, I really can't say goodbye to you forever. Hey, what's going on here? I'm being told that the wedding is now being canceled? <laughs> They're asking everyone to leave this wedding hall now. Who is this? Stop playing dumb, you idiot. I am your daughter, Jordan. I don't have a daughter, though. You're really going to start telling crappy jokes like that now? Why are things turning out like this now? I never told anyone that I wanted my wedding canceled. Well, don't worry, because I did. Huh? What does that mean? How could you have canceled my wedding? Well, I was the one who went and paid for the whole wedding. What? And since that wedding I paid for would not be seating me, I chose to have it canceled. I have no idea what you're talking about. This whole wedding was all paid for by Dad. What the hell are you going on about? Oh, now that you say that, I'm sure that's how he explained things to you. But unfortunately, whatever your father was telling you was a lie. In reality, I was the one that paid for every little thing related to the wedding today. What? Are, are you being serious? Well, yes, of course I'm being serious. Isn't the fact that your wedding is being canceled right now clear enough evidence of that? <laughs> why? If you're really the one who paid for everything, then why did Dad lie to me about it? That's because your father wants you to continue liking him and would rather you like him than me. And, well... That led to him trying to show off so that you'd stay with him instead of coming to me. Well, it's too bad things had to end this way, because now you're just going to find out just how poor of a father he really is. <laughs> no way. You have to be lying. I just went and asked Dad about this, and he won't say a word to me now. I'm sure he won't, because no matter how much he's tried to fake being the man of the house, the only true man of the house with all the power and money was me. That man can't do anything by himself, and you'll soon realize that. <laughs> you, you have all the power and money? 
But the one making the most money is Dad, right? No, that would be me. Honestly, with your father, he's already been trying his best just to stay alive. And that's with the help of me giving him a monthly allowance. Huh? What does that mean? I had never heard anything about all of that. And that's because you never care to listen to what anyone has to say to you. I've talked about this many times now. About how I happen to work a very important job from home, and that I'm the one paying for everything in the home. And I have made sure that every time you tried to say I was only in my room playing games, that I am actually in there working diligently. Yet you never listened to any of those words I said, and continued to believe in that lie you made up about me. So don't get upset with me that you chose to live in your false reality. Are you really making all of that money from home? Wait, well, I sort of had an idea that you'd be working a little bit in that room. But I just assumed you were only making enough to support your hobby of gaming. Well, you never actually cared about anything I was up to and would always leave the house and go out and mess around. That's why you have no idea what kinds of things I was doing for work. But I was always getting my allowance from Dad. I know, and all of that money was coming from me. But your father wanted to make sure, no matter what, that you never found out about that. So I had to keep it a secret for so long that I was the one who really handed all her money to the family. Why would you keep all of that a secret? Because if I were to say anything, then your father would have been destroyed, right? He wanted to seem like this really cool father in front of you. And during those times, I was in love with him. So I had to give in to what he wanted and keep everything a secret with him. Wait, Dad is starting to get really upset right now. He wants to know why you've started talking about all that. He's telling me to tell you that all of that has nothing to do with my wedding? What? Such a loser. <laughs> so that's all he has to say about what's going on? What do you think of him, Jordan? Do you still find your father to be a really cool guy after he went and kept all this stuff about his income and money to you a secret? I, um, I really want to get pissed off at him right now, and what he's done is totally uncool and makes me want to say goodbye to him forever, too. Why have I respected my dad so much all this time? Right? I was thinking that myself, and that's why I gave up on keeping that a secret from you. So there you go. That's why I've told you the truth, yet it seems your father still wants to keep the truth hidden from you. I... I get it now. I get it all now, so you can come back here. You can come back here and join my wedding, as long as you tell the staff it won't be cancelled. You really think something as wonderful as that is going to happen for you? I told you already that I'm going to get this divorce now, right? I knew something like this was going to happen today, so I made sure to prepare in advance. That's why all of your things are out of the house now, and I'll go ahead and toss them for you, okay? What? What are you talking about now? Wait, does this mean the house is also... That's right, my name is on the house. I've been the one renting the house this whole time, and pretty soon here I'm going to be moving out. I've really wanted to get myself a proper office for work, and so I was thinking it'd be best to get myself an office and then set up a bed in there to sleep. I'll have the lock and everything changed on the house, so both you and your father can stay out of it now. Wait a second! Things are going way too quickly for me. I never heard about any of that either. Aren't you being a real jerk right now, tossing all my things out of the house like that? Wasn't all of this what you wanted, though? I'm giving you the gift of a divorce between myself and your father, yet you're going to get all upset about it now? <laughs> you don't have to divorce Dad anymore. Please, come back here. You have to do something about what's going on here. All of the groom's family is getting really upset with me now and are threatening to take him away from me. Wow, sucks to be you then, I suppose. Too bad that I don't care. Honestly, I'm sure they are all happy to learn about the true person you and your father are before having the wedding. They're probably thankful for what I've done. Shut the hell up! Do you have any idea what this will do to my life? You think I care about some complete stranger's life? Be happy that I gave up 25 years of my life supporting you and your father. Be thankful for all that. I understand, and I am very thankful for all you've done. Thank you so much for everything, Mom. So please come back here now. I don't ever remember being your ATM, alright? 
So stop it with all of that fake appreciation for me and get real. Really, do you have any idea how much I am done with your father? Always needing me to do everything for him, even going as far as asking me to pay for your whole wedding, and then on the day of, stabbing me in the back? I think the both of you need to spend some quality time in hell for this. Don't say things like that. I'm not kidding when I say that right now things are really crazy. Dad's girlfriend just showed up to the wedding. She just started to tell him about how back in the day she did some things with his older brother. He knew about how she used to work as a prostitute and would take advantage of her all the time. Oh, she's talking about that stuff now? I knew there was something wrong with her. <laughs> but to think she did something as wild as that with his brother. <laughs> what? Do you know her? After you gave me a few hints about how your father was cheating on me, I decided to delve into it a bit more. I got my lawyer involved and we hired an investigator to have a look at what was going on with your father and her. We needed to know about who she was and what she was up to. You went and did something like that? And as for the allowance I was handing your father each and every month, most of it was going to that woman and the time he spent with her. I want all that money back that I wasted on him, so I'll make sure this settlement I get from him is huge. Settlement? You thought I'd just skip all the fun? I know about how he's been with her for the longest time now, cheating on me. And, well, cheating on me while married gives me the ability to take action against him. I'm still in the talks with my lawyer, so please give me just a few more days. Wait, oh, this can't be happening. Dad doesn't even have the money to pay you back. You think I care about him having the money or not? If he doesn't, then he'd better start moving his ass and making that money for me. We're being asked to pay for the rest of this wedding now? We don't have that kind of money on us. Please, come here and do something about this, Mom. Who is this Mom you're talking about? You would never be calling some stranger that, right? You and I have cut ties completely now. So would you shut your mouth and let me have the peace of being free from you both that I deserve? <laughs> Please don't say things like that, Mom. I will apologize to you for everything my dad and I have done. Don't abandon the both of us at a time like this. Up until a few days ago, I had been trying my best not to be bothered by everything your father and you were doing and just focus on my work. But now that I think about it, I should have gotten rid of you both long ago before things came to this. Now, I've told you what this divorce is, right? It's that present you were asking from me for your wedding that's better than anything anyone else will be giving you, all right? And you losing your wedding and getting into debt with your father is something I believe suits the both of you as well. So please take that next step forward and fall into the hell you've created for yourself. After that, the rest of the groom's family had had enough of Jordan and they all began to walk out of the wedding hall, officially ending the wedding that Jordan had been so happy about. And as for what Jordan had been saying about her already being married to her fiancé, she was lying and only said that in order to make me feel even worse about how she would be leaving and wanting me to divorce her father. Anyway, as the rest of the groom's guests left the hall, so did a lot of Jordan's guests as well. And soon it was just her and Richard in there surrounded by the wedding staff asking for the remainder of the payment that was needed. Neither of them could afford to pay the remaining $5,000, and so Richard ended up writing them a check knowing very well it would bounce in a couple of days and he'd be in huge trouble. When those two came running back to the house from the wedding, they both found all their things out in the yard, as well as the doors all being locked like I had said. They sat outside for hours, begging to be let inside by me, but I wasn't even at the house at the time and was just watching all of this drama unfold through my doorbell camera. And before they both decided to give up and leave my property, they got into this massive fight, screaming and yelling at one another about whose fault all of this was, before running out of energy and running off. They both would later get themselves a dirt cheap apartment, where they've been living now without any furniture in it besides what they already owned. They would later be visited by my lawyer, who would let Richard know that the divorce had been concluded and that he and I were officially exes now. And along with that, he would be told about the settlement he owed me. 
and that he would get three months to pay it off or else I would be taking him to court and raising said settlement. I'm not really sure he'll ever be able to get me that money I've asked for, but that's all right because I know deep down that I already have more money than he ever will and that at least I was given this divorce, which is going to be saving me a lot of money going into the future. The both of them regret never appreciating me for all the things I did for them, and have since had to sit in that apartment crying about what they've lost. But that's not something I care about, as those two most definitely deserved this. And I'm sure once that wedding hall finds that the check has bounced, they will go after Richard and Jordan, and they'll have a new kind of hell to live in. <laughs> As for myself, I ended up ending the lease on that rented house and got myself a decent-sized office space downtown where I can get my work done from. There's also a small kitchenette inside it and enough space in one of the adjacent rooms for me to make a bedroom out of. I think for the time being I'll be living here, focusing all of my time and effort entirely into my job instead of into that selfish and greedy family that I once had.